Hi, welcome to another video from Property Buyers Australia. While having tea today, I was thinking about investment property depreciation. So let's talk about it in today's video. Investment property depreciation allows investors to deduct the decline in value of a property's structure and assets over time, potentially reducing taxable income and increasing cash flow. Depreciation provides tax savings by lowering taxable income and leading to less tax pay. But what are the kinds of depreciation? There are basically two types of depreciation, capital works depreciation and plant and equipment depreciation. In the capital works depreciation, deduction for the building structure and permanent fixtures is taken into account. Whereas in plant and equipment depreciation, deduction for removable items like appliances and furniture is taken into account. Now let's understand it with the help of an example. Please note here that this example is for illustration purposes only. Ramesh buys an investment property for 500k and claims annual depreciation of 10k. Hypothetically, let's assume that Ramesh's annual salary is 100k and the tax rate is 30%, which is roughly 30k. Now let's factor in the investment property. Let's assume that the annual rental income from this property is 25k and mortgage and other expenses are also 25k. The net property income before depreciation is 0k, depreciation is 10k and net property income after depreciation is negative 10k. Therefore, Ramesh's net taxable income is roughly 90k. But Ramesh pays 27k in taxes instead of 30k. Please note that the above calculations have been presented in an oversimplified manner and there is no surety that they are correct as rules change from time to time. Please look for more such videos on our channel about property investing and please like and subscribe to our channel. Our group has licensed professionals so please get in touch with us via WhatsApp on 0432 555 415 to know about these strategies. This is not a financial advice and you should do your own due diligence.